Week one, one new. Alright, right, you go first. Who do you want to sit next to? Well, I've already got positive stuff with him. Alright. So I'm gonna go there. You sit down to enjoy a nice girl meal at the spooky high cafeteria as usual. Hello, JK, something fucked up is always going on here, and today is no different. Oh, hello, the Tom. Oh, wait, that's the guy. That's oh, hello, Tom. Did you want to come and sit with us and our imaginary friend? No one else is here. Their imaginary friend roars at the whole cafeteria's shake in the work. <laughs> okay, Tom. You have some smarts. You're probably going to figure this out pretty quickly. Why do we have a wild beast under our table? Why don't you take a guess? He's asking you to guess because we totally forgot our plan. Scott? No, we didn't. Shut up. We're going to teach it the piano. Or maybe the saxophone? I lost my notes. No worries. No notes needed. You know exactly what they're going to do with this wild beast. The wild beast should uh, be the new team mascot. Put him in a sports jersey and let's rock. Go team! It's obvious you brought such a beast to the kitchen to turn it into the next Monster Chef champion so you can uh, split the big um, Monster Chef cash prize. Can it cook? You can teach it to cook. I think the mascot would be a bit... Let's teach it to cook. Hey, what a going. What a kick-ass <laughs> idea. Which was obviously ours. You're right, that was our idea. Hooray, we're geniuses. And I have just what we need here. Training montage music. Suddenly, uh, you start a training montage, and the three and the three of you try to teach cooking to the wild beast. You suck at it since you're not a big chef yourself, and also because it's a wild beast, and it uh, keeps in and it keeps in devouring people and wrecking havoc. But, for, yeah, but it is quite an epic training montage. Ah, uh, water. <laughs> Afterward, afterwards, you're all sitting excited in front of a portable TV. The Monster Chef showing, show is about to start. You're holding cute, supportive signs, and you even got yourself a custom-made t-shirt of the Wild Beast. Whoa, this is the big day. Also, how is that we drained the Wild Beast and it's now on the show if it's still noon and the cafeteria time hasn't even ended? Shh, Scott. Time works in mysterious ways when it comes to training montages. Okay, boys. I hope it isn't only a. I hope. I only hope it isn't a souffle challenge. We know the wild beast isn't good at souffles. The wild beast isn't good at anything aside from devouring <laughs> people and wrecking havoc. You quite. You quietly watch the show. The challenge is beef Wellington. Fuck yeah! No souffle. <laughs> Not so surprisingly, once the challenge begins, the wild beast just uh, starts to devour the other contestants <laughs> and destroys the show set. <laughs> You see the judges screaming, who the fuck left my <laughs> <laughs> The wild beast is the... <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> oh, no, the wild beast. <laughs> well, I guess that's it. We might not have won the cash prize, but we won the most valuable of prizes. The prize of laughing at our wild beast fucking up everything on the Monster Chef set, which is a memory we will cherish forever. Is Damon right to cherish memories that include you? Wowie. Uh, in my time, in my turn. Um. Who's the cat person? Uh, I think she's a shop. I think. Oh, I'm pretty sure, like. What about the Frankenstein person? Um. Oh, I don't know who she is. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really have much interest in any of the characters yet. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna sit next to her. You approach your chosen table to find it already mostly taken up by the coven. They're huddled around some kind of glowing artifact. Oh, they're witches or something. But you only, uh, <clears throat> but you only get one wish, not three. So it's important for all of us to agree before we release the genie. Hope you already expressed uh, express your wish for this secret a uh, secret hideout with a mini fridge and football t uh, fo a foosball table. Faith has argued just as uh, frequently for world peace. But as the leader, I think the most sensible option is a mystic sword that will instantly slay this season's big bad. And uh, Hope and Faith immediately object to Joy calling herself the leader, and the uh, three soon uh, dissolve into a shouting match. Amidst the commotion, you can't help but notice that the wishing lamp is totally unguarded. Without really thinking about it, and as as if you ever do, you rub the lamp, release the genie, and wish for 
A bag full of quarters. A machine that can successfully reheat french fries. Imagine how much money you'd make with that one. Yeah. Huh. As long as they're not all cold and sort of... Well, how big is the bag? Chewy. How big is the bag? That's my question. It doesn't say. Because quarters, like four quarters is a dollar. I would have a couple of dollars. I only have seven money. <laughs> I wish for like three dollars. Yeah, I only have seven money. Bag full of quarters. Because if it's a goddamn bag, I'd have like quite a bit of money. It's a bag of holding. A machine that successfully reheats my prices. If it was real life, I'd go for the bottom one. I wouldn't go for the top Because, I mean, <laughs> odds are you can sell it for more than a bag full of quarters anyway. Oh, true. Oh, fuck it. I'm gonna go with this one. Wish granted, uh, booms the genie, and you find yourself the proud owner of a brand new Fry Lord French Fry Reheating Super System. Are you kidding me? We didn't brave the uh, fire lakes of Lower Wrath. Two-headed snake sar what? Serpentia. Serpentia. And the accountants of Bailu Baby Lu Bab Babylon. Babylon, just so you could have hot fries. But the coven quickly changes their <laughs> tune when they taste the hot fries fresh out of your fry, uh, fry lord. They're so crisp. Neither uh, rubbery nor soggy. This is powerful. Sorcery, indeed. We were so focused on defeating the big bad that we forgot <laughs> all about an even greater evil. Suboptimal fry consistency. Thank you. Thank you for teaching us the error of our ways. You reheat everyone's cafeteria fries for them, and you have you have a fry party. For your contributions to the fry conversation, you gain plus four fun. I have fun! Later, trip. Oh, okay. Every time you choose something bad, you say your choice out loud, and the rest of the players. Okay. Uh. Uh. Hold on. I'm trying to think of something bad. An object or a situation. An object or a situation. It doesn't say. Yeah. Something bad. Just something bad. Okay. That's pretty much anything. Baby in a blender. <laughs> I was gonna say candles. <laughs> I think baby in a blender is worse. I think that's worse, anyways. Let's see. Player or and uh, player orders decided on the base of how interesting it would be in this if the select thing was a key component of a super villain plan in a movie. Start to be you know. I don't, I don't, in a movie, I would not want to see a baby in a blender. I don't, I don't know how either of them could be a key component. Turn. <laughs> Maybe you need to feed blended baby to something. No. I would say, like, cannibalism, like, turning a human into a beast or something like that. Do you, in, like, a how is that part of... I don't know how that could be a key component of a plan. Do you have to eat... What if you have to eat someone to gain their powers? Yeah, actually, that is actually a real thing in a super, uh, super villain. And real life. Re real life? Yeah. I don't think that's how it works in real life. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Yeah. No? Yeah. So if I were to eat a celebrity, would I get their, like, voice or... No, skills? just their powers. What powers do they have? Humans don't have any powers. Yeah, humans don't have any powers. <laughs> so you don't get anything. They have no powers. You eat them, you get no powers. Therefore, you get their powers. Sure. What yeah, are we I, doing? I know the cannibalism movie. I know that there's a TV show where the, I think you where just the, won that one. Yeah, uh, because like there's an actual TV show. I can't remember the name. I just know it's on Netflix. They still have it on Netflix. I think it's Finding Nemo, isn't it? No. Oh. But like the super villain eats the uh, these uh, people's brains to get their superpowers. Yeah. And he has I like think all... they did that in Dragon Ball Z. I never watched Dragon Ball Z. Uh, you should... It was a good. It was a good show. I so I win. Yep. Yay. Week one evening. So what's up in the evening? Oh, let's go. Are we here all day or something? Oh yes. Bathrooms. Mm -hmm. I only if she is the shopkeeper, which I think she is, I only have some money, so. I need more creative activity or charm. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go in the outdoors. Oh, what is this? Uh, that day during recess, uh, you start a half-hour rave that uh, goes fully crazy. That goes full crazy. 
You have no idea how it escalated so much, but uh, at one point there was like 300 people. Someone summons demons after a nightmare dimension that uh, consequences might just uh, distort the fabric of reality itself. But who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two foot. I am very fun. Yes. Oddly enough, you notice Damon and Vera having some kind of business meeting. At least they're both sitting uh, holding a uh, minute. Mini 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 what is that word? Manila? Oh, Manila. I don't know. Manila folders. You move closer to see what's up. Yeah. Now, Damon, it seems they both agree that uh, Qu Quilliam, William? William? The incubus, incubus is a is a piece of sensitive sentient. Se sentient garbage who deserves harm. True, true. I believe that together we could make William very unhappy. I prepared an action plan for a potential uh, merge. Merger. Merger. Have a look. Vera opens her folder to reveal uh, inter. Ah, <sighs> inter. I Fuck words! Intricate, inter, intricate, intricate, intricate cards with titles like Diversion, Coefficient, Motherfucker, Coefficient, and Maximizing Humiliation di Dividends. I bought a folder too. Damien opens his folder, there's a piece of paper that says punching on it. I admire your simplistic approach, but I think we need a plan that utilizes both our strengths. Damon nods and turns over his piece of paper. On the other side it says punching hard. <laughs> These two are never going to come to an agreement unless you step in and um, uh, medi uh, mediate so you can tell them your idea. Uh, use the cameras, uh, convenient list that I brought that shows all the list I brought that shows all his greatest fears in order of secrecy. While he sleeps, we replace all his organs with living possums. The final one sounds fun. Yeah. Well, I want living possums. <laughs> I'm very well, fun. Damn, why didn't I think of that? I mean, I've replaced people's organs with dead possums a bunch of times. But never living? But live possums? That's so much more fucked up. <laughs> it's, uh, it is rather vicious. But wait, fucking wait a second. What if I also replace the possum's organs with other live possums? <laughs> you leave Damien to go down this... You, you leave Damien to go down this rabbit hole, or possum hole, on his own. The important thing is he's happy. You gain plus two bonus and plus one charm. Right. Wait, your turn. Okay. I need water. Oh my god. Let's see. I can do with some more fun. But you've got that. Creativity and charm. Alright, let's go to the gym. Oh, that day is an epic... <laughs> that day is an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team spirit, leading to a, spectac a spectacular comeback. You're, uh, you're, you're clearly a natural-born leader. You gain plus two charm. You join Miranda and Damon's team for game two. It goes differently. Come on, shit dicks. Face the power of hell. Paint this battlefield red, Damon. Grind them all into a thin red paste. I like her. <laughs> I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> you express your worry and confusion over the numbers of corpses in the corpses <laughs> in the gym. Is, isn't this supposed to be a friendly game? Friendly? What the fuck is friendly? I only have two words in my vocabulary: kill and murder. I love this man. <laughs> Honor, glory, feudalism. I think. Feudalism. These are the wor words we will fight for. They, uh, these are the words we will die for. Well, didn't you sign up? Well, you didn't sign up to die. You gotta stop this before it turns into an FPS or something. Get off, get off my nuts, narrator. You don't understand the ancient, uh, re ancient reasons for dodgeball slaughter. Many died before us, but we won't waver. 
Guys, it's just Dodgeball. Let's throw the ball and have fun. Fine, be that way. Bring it on. You can Why do you have a shotgun? And stand beside Damon. Double kill. <laughs> Triple kill. Quad damage. The gym is ruined. Blood is everywhere. Half of your class. <laughs> Half of your classmates are maimed. Are you happy? You're half plus three money out of sleep or something? <laughs> I don't feel that this. I love this game. This is oh, great. Something happened oh. too. Huh. Hey. Did you get mugged? I don't know. All right. You're practicing your moves against the in invisible ninjas who are totally real and totally after you. When a spy, um, uh, spy, when you spy a much more visible threat. Yo, fuck hammer. I need your advice about something. Do you know what the most powerful force on earth is? Stronger than anvils, or swords, or my nine-pack apps. It's love, and I think I might just be in it, with your buddy Stella. What? <laughs> and sure, love is already hardcore just because the feelings are so strong, and that's badass. But the love will be doubly as strong and badass if it turns out that Stella is as hardcore as I think she is. And, of course, there's only really one way to judge a person's true soul. You know her pretty well. Do you know what her inner murder weapon would be? Um, duh, of course you do. Oh, why am I reading this? Oh well. <laughs> um, duh, of course you do. Uh, by which uh, you mean you're happy to totally make it up on the spot. So now the time to decide Stella's fate. Fun, right? I don't want, uh, uh, don't, um, uh, don't want to be a dick unless you want to, in which case, totally go for it. Mm. Uh, Major Cart- oh my god. Major Cart- Cardiovascular. Thank you, disease. Stella is an ultimate murderer, the leading cause of death worldwide, and something capable of catching up to tough motherfuckers who have survived everything else. An electric chair, that's how boring Stella is. She would just uh, be standard government regu uh, regulated death. I wouldn't do it, just. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. An electric oh, chair? Damn, I knew Stella seemed too good to be true. And now that's definitely 100% confirmed because literally nothing is as convincing to me as being told by some random class white mate what murder weapon someone's soul looks like. I bet Stella is such an electric chair that she actually would go through a trial and due process and all that shit before she even ever murdering someone. Disgusting. What happened to good old fashioned murder? Why try to hide behind some legal system? Stella sounds weak as fuck. Glad you spared me that disappointment. Sorry. Wow, <laughs> thanks! I wouldn't go for electric catch here, I would go for a dull night. Because, <laughs> like, it, like, I would be stabbing someone and it would be very painful in the process. Okie dokie then. I thought hard and well about this stuff. <laughs> hey, no problem if Stella, wants, uh, Stella wanted you to say nice things about her. Yeah, why didn't you say nice things about me, huh? <laughs> Didn't ask me to. <laughs> she would have given you her lunch money like you asked. Excuse me. Oh, and, oh, and you gain plus one boldness yourself. Everybody, everybody choose an object. Say your choice out loud, and the rest of the players before clicking. Everyone choose an object. Okay. Okay, I got mine. Okay. Bucket. Same. Hammer. Uh, player orders decided based on how good the uh, select subject would, would be as your only weapon in a battle royale simulation and start debating that. Then. Try <laughs> killing someone with a bucket. <laughs> I could drown them in water, <laughs> but I only you, have You'd a have to like break their legs and stuff first. <laughs> their spine so they couldn't move. <laughs> you win this one? Yeah, I think hammer's a better weapon. <laughs> yeah. I can fill with rocks and hammer over the head. I guess, but it's too late for that now. I know. 